Hi friends, in this video we will see about the date object in the JavaScript. So when you want to deal with the date objects, date thing, so we will see uh, we will see some of the data object methods in the JavaScript. So if you want to get today's date, so for example if I try here, today's date we will be using the creating using new date and if I console.log today, let us see what could be the output. If I check with the today, I am getting object date. Okay, this is not that much of convenient way. And let's try this one to the string, to string. If I convert this one to to string, let's see what could be the output. Now, if I try here, now I got the full date in in the string. So it is showing this July 19, 2020, 132051. Okay, this is this is the total date. Total date from the JavaScript got from the JavaScript object. Now, what I will try to do is instead of trying this uh, today's date, we can also give the custom custom date also to show in the output. For example, I can give year and I can give the month as 03 and date as 26. If I now check that one, I will get Sunday, April. Sunday April 26, 2020. So that means 2020, 03 April and 26. So April is nothing but what we can say is it's a 4, right? So but here 03 it is showing it as April, uh, January, February, March, April is April should be 4. Here what it will take is the months will be carrying months will be taken from 0 to 11 instead of 12. If I keep it as 11 here, so let's check the output what it will happen. So here I am getting December. So remember this one. Instead of giving as an arguments year, month, and date, we can also give that one as a string also. So if you check here, and if I try to check the 2020 slash 03 slash 26 or something like that. Okay. Now if I try to give, now here see if I check Thursday, March 26, 2020, I got. So here string 3 doesn't matter, it doesn't take it from 0 to 11, it's take from 1 to 12 only. So if I give it here 12, it will take it as December only. Okay, that is the main difference between passing as an argument and passing as a string. This this is how we can get the date using the date object. Now we can also use date as a static method also. So date dot parse, I will send I will send this same string here and I will check here the output. If I check here the output. I am getting the number of milliseconds since January 1st, 1970. Okay, uh, so this is the this is the number of milliseconds that has that has uh, that has that has completed from January 1st, 1970 till to this time. Okay, so this is the number of milliseconds. And also, what what can we what we can do is we can also use some of the functions such as so I have today's date. I need to get the only the date from the that date object. So you can use console dot today dot get date. It will send you. It will give you that date date only the date twenty six. So if I give here twenty thirty or something like this, I will get only the date here. Okay, and also I can get the get day or get day. So if I do the get day here, I will be getting three. So that means Get today is nothing but what you can say is the num the week the week number you are getting the week number. For example, if I take today's date, so today is Sunday. So what you will be getting is so if I see here, I am getting it as zero. So zero means nothing but what you can say is Sunday starts from zero and the six starts from six six is Saturday. So it, this one also takes from zero to six instead of one to seven. Okay, these are the date object date, date methods methods which, which we can use in that for manipulating the date thing you can also find full date of date methods here in the get date get day get full year and all those things you can use it here so you will be having lot of date functions here you can refer to this uh, javascript mozilla this one uh, documentation i will uh, i will give this one in the description you can see the description and he this these are the date of ob, date object how we can use 
in the JavaScript for the date manipulation. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.